Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for um, listening to my talk tonight. And I will try and be fit. I'll just put on the um, stopwatch. And um, I have just completed a... I, I'm Cami Cordner Hunt, and I founded One Planet Party, which then joined Vote Planet. And we became one of the founding uh, parties of Fusion. Uh, in my interest in um, politics, I have learnt a lot about the world and one of the things I became very passionate about and interested in was human rights. And so I've just completed a Master's of Human Rights and had in a dissertation and my dissertation is called The Unaccountability of Corporations in the Commitment of Human Rights Abuses. So what I found out found was that um, here we are all over the planet trying to address human rights issues and in fact it doesn't matter how it's like putting your finger in the dike it doesn't matter how much we do to try our humanitarian um, exercises in war-torn countries everything we do um, we are just mopping up after really after corporations obviously st states nation states are also involved in abusing human rights but the um but the role of transnational corporations in all of those episodes is is really uh, very eviscerating to see firsthand. So I'll start with my um, abstract. So uh, it, my dissertation argues that transnational corporations have grown into great powers that challenge the ability of governments and collective bodies of governments like the UN to manage them. Their size and influence mean the harms that they are doing, and they're called TNCs throughout. So TNC stands for Transnational Corporation. The harms that TNCs are causing to human populations and environments are not being contained, nor mitigated, nor accounted for by law. As a result, TNCs have been committing violations of human rights with impunity and continue to do so. Um, so it, it actually just starts off with kind of fairly mild human rights uh, as I go through the chapters. Um, but and I talk about the history of corporations and how they operate by nature, which is to grow and grow and grow. <laughs> um, and that's what they have been doing ever since um, Thatcher and Regan in the 1980s um, collaborated on the idea that um, what the world needed was to let the market sort out all of the problems in the world, so therefore give absolutely free reign to the market and reduce government intervention wherever possible in economics. And so as a result of that, corporations have just profited more and more and more and they've sought every possible avenue to grow bigger and profit more. And now we have corporations for example, Nestle, which owns absolutely every tiny, every large and tiny business involved in producing food from the centre of Switzerland, which is their headquarters, long fingers down to the Tierra del Fuego and every part of Africa where they're picking up their ingredients for all their food products. Um, so these, these companies actually have GDPs bigger than half the nations in the world. And they go into really small nations to um, help those nations uh, grow their GDPs. So, for example, through the world, the international financial organizations such as the World Bank, the WTO, World Trade Organization, and the IMF, International Monetary Fund, these groups all work with corporations to go sending them into small countries or developing countries to help them develop whatever their assets are or resources are so that those countries can grow their GDP and join the global market. Uh, but and, and that's the ideal. Um, it's really wonderful. UN supports it totally. Um, however, what happens when they get in there, of course, is another thing. What we what you end up is slavery in supply chains, um, incitement to wars. Uh, the more unstable a country, the better corporations can profit themselves. It's called capital flight. The, the corporation is going to help the country build their um, assets and they end up uh, siphoning off the capital and sending it back to the north and they call it the global north which is all the rich countries up in the north um, and the developing countries we don't use that expression anymore they're now called the global south australia is not a member of the global south we are a member of the global north um, however um just generally speaking south america south africa and a lot of um 
equatorial countries are all struggling to develop and the corporations are going in to help them, but they are um, um, delivering carnage in the process, which that they profit from and those small nations struggle with uh, for generations. Um, that's five minutes. So uh, it's a really, really huge topic, <laughs> but I'm happy to answer any questions. <laughs> Right, we'd have time for one quick question if someone has one. I would just say it's made me more political than ever. Um, it's made me have a perspective on how politics works. Oh, there, I forgot to mention state capture. So politics own uh, governments all over the world. Um, they're completely captured by them. And that's why uh, the world is turning more and more uh, right wing and... Um, pugilistic and less and less concerned with human rights. Right. Thank you. Um, was that a quick question, Bryony? Yeah, quick question. Um, thanks, Cammy. Did you get, uh, is it, you know, the IMF used to do things like intentionally lend money that they knew the country couldn't pay back, so then the, the you know, there would be structural adjustment, the corporate corporations could buy, you know, Get off, get the assets cheap, and so on. Is that still happening, or yeah, has look, there, that been cracked down on? Yeah, look, structural adjustment meant that a, a, a poor country had to do exactly what the IMF told them to do, so that um, a corporation could also profit as well as them. And uh, that turned out to be such a disaster. They don't have it anymore. However, uh, what they have now is global. Um, they have investment treaties and they're pretty much exactly the same thing but um but structural adjustment programs had such a bad uh, pr they got rid of them and they've just done something else yeah yeah all right thank you very right. much for